Okay, hello all you crazy people out there, this is Dragonite, and welcome back to another Game Maker 3D tutorial video. So, now that these models are properly imported, and now that they're textured and everything, the next logical thing to want to do is to transform them in some way, because I assume that most people who are interested in making 3D games don't just want to have all the same models that are all the same size and they're all facing the same way. Fortunately, there's a way to do that. In this example, I'm going to go to World Draw Event. I'm going to look down at the bottom at this line of code, D3D model draw, and before I do that, D3D transform, and if you were to hit control space right here, you would be able to see an entire list of functions related to transformations in 3D and Game Maker. I'm going to be focusing on the ones at the top for now, add rotation, X, Y, Z, uh, scaling, translation, that kind of thing. Uh, down at the bottom, these functions related to the transformation stack. If you're familiar with how stack structures work in computer programming, or if you're familiar with the, uh, the transformation stack in computer graphics, these might ring a bell to you. But if you're not, and if these things are completely unfamiliar to you, don't worry, it's not really necessary to know how to use them to be able to make games effectively. They're more helpful for things with complicated 3D animations and what have you. Anyway, I'm going to start out with D3D transform add rotation Z. And the angle that I'm going to be rotating it around is going to be, how about, rotation angle. I could use the built-in direction variable for this, but I want it to be absolutely clear what I'm doing, so I'm going to be just using my own variable. And this is going to set the rotation for anything drawn after this. If I were to go and move this up to the beginning, uh, over here, the ellipsoid, which is symmetrical anyway, but the, uh, the floor, and the model would be drawn rotated. Pretty much anything that's drawn until you say D3D transform and it is set identity is called. And this will reset the currently defined transformation so that anything drawn after will not be transformed in any way. It won't be scaled or rotated or shifted around or anything like that. Now the difference between add rotation and set rotation I'm going to be getting into in a minute. Um, you may have noticed there are a bunch of apparently duplicate functions, uh, one that says add whatever and one that says set whatever, and I'm going to be getting into that later. I always use the add functions, as you probably should as well for reasons that I'll explain later. Anyway, before I run the game, I'm going to need to go into the create event and say rotation angle equals, let's make this 45. Now let's make it zero to start out with, and instead, in the step event, I'm going to write a little bit of code. So now if I hit two completely arbitrary keys on the keyboard, the J and K keys, the rotation angle is going to increase or decrease. So now when I run the game, I didn't accidentally change anything, did I? Good. Now when I run the game, and I go to stand in front of the model, and I hit J, and it's going to move, and I hit K, and it's going to move. And you may notice it is rotating, but it's also moving. And the reason for that is that there is already a transformation being defined. When you say D3D model draw at whatever position, uh, in my case 500, 500, 0, this is a translation type transformation that's already being accounted for, and the model is being translated to the middle of the room and then rotated around the origin point, 0, 0. Again, if you can't envision what's going on, I'll throw a little animation on the screen right now that will hopefully demonstrate the problem. Anyway, to get around that, I'm going to have the object being drawn at the origin, at 0, 0, 0. And instead, to get it to the middle of the room, D3D transform add translation. And this is instead going to be 500, 500, 0. Instead of passing that position as the argument in D3D model draw. Anyway, now that that has been done, let's run the game. And I'm now standing in front of the clock tower, let's hit J and L. Now, great, it's properly being rotated around the z-axis. I'm not going to demonstrate all of the different types of transformations in this video, rotating around the other axes, or scaling or anything like that. Instead, I want to quickly talk about the differences between things like add translation and set translation. If you call set translation, it's essentially going to erase the currently defined transformation. So, for example, if I were to throw something else in here, D3D transform add, how about scaling? And well, let's make this like 2, 2, and 1, so it's going to be kind of expanded outwards. Something like this. It's rather short and squashed looking. It's kind of weird. 
But if I were to, instead of, say, add translation, if I were to say set translation, it's going to erase these two. It basically would call D3D transform set identity before doing anything else. So now I'm going to run the game again. And the scaling is gone. If I hit J and K, it's not going to rotate anywhere because these two steps of the transformation are essentially getting erased. I personally don't use any of the set transformation functions. I only will use the add ones. If you're going to use one of the set transformation functions, it should be at the beginning. If you really want to use it, instead of saying set identity, go right ahead. Although I personally would rather not. Anyway, uh, let's get rid of this add scaling thing because it looks kind of bizarre. Anyway, that's all. 3D transformations are really rather simple. There are a couple pitfalls in it that I mentioned. For example, the order that you define your transformations matters. The use of add versus set. But once you get the hang of it, they're really pretty simple. And they can definitely be quite useful for adding a little bit of variety to your game world. So, as usual, I'm going to have the code to this project file available for download in the description of this video. My name is Dragonite, I hope you all enjoyed that, and I will see you all later.